All right, here's the last part of the raised beds on this side. So basically what I've done is I got a lot of mulch from uh, the springtime when our neighbor cut down his tree and I grabbed his, all his mulch. And so here's the raised beds now. They're water irrigated and then I put mulch on top of the raised beds too. So in essence, it's kind of like a back to Eden garden that here it's directly mulch on the ground that I could plant to. But here's the raised beds, but it's got a good foundation of dirt underneath. So maybe it's the best of both worlds in the sense that you got a good underlay foundation of dirt in which to plant plants. But then the mulch on top should break down and feed the plants and be no different than if I was putting it in here. Except here, I you know, it's more clay and everything underneath and it hasn't turned into good dirt. But here, you got the mulch on top. I mean, scientifically, it should be the same thing in essence, right? It's just kind of like a jump start. So I've got it irrigated, and I have um, the mulch put on. And now it's just, what do I want to put here? Something that can take full sun, because as you can see, there's nothing to block the sun all day long. Because I have so much, I've gone back and started to put mulch on my other beds too. Uh, here with the blackberries, here with the sweet potatoes, um, over here with the strawberries and raspberries. I still got more mulch that I'm going to backfill. I'll probably have to get some more mulch eventually to cover it up. But the straw is okay. I'll say this. The straw is okay. But with summer heat and Texas heat that we have here, you probably need something that will retain the moisture in the ground a little bit more. I think it's done an adequate job, but I don't think anything beats the mulch. And if you can put the wood chips, put that on. It'll also keep the weeds down. And also, the hay had little hay seeds in it that sprouted up, and I have to keep pulling that. So anyways, these two beds here, they are ready to go, ready to plant. Um, like I say, we're trying to keep the heat off our backs keep everything alive so hopefully this will protect the strawberries protect the raspberries and then of course transplanting the white strawberry plants or what they call the pineapple strawberry uh, plants um, they're they, they're starting to come back they looked a little more wilty yesterday as I transplanted and shocked them out of their normal dirt but uh, now looks like they're they'll come back so that'll be good um, blackberries they're looking good there's lots of blackberries. They're red. Uh, you can see that there's some flowers and they're red here. This side has more of the larger ones this year. Look at how big that is. As a, you know, there's my finger there. So those will be nice and there's lots of them there. Lots of strong canes growing up. So good for the blackberries. The raspberries are starting to come up. I need to buy some more raspberry sets just to fill out the bed a little bit more. I didn't know how far they would spread on their own, so I'll do that. Um, coming around here, if you'll notice, these tomatoes, they're all green, but they'll turn right here, hopefully soon. Beans, I probably got to look back there and look for some beans. They're probably ready to be picked. Um, the pepper plants are starting to grow. Peppers, of course, I'll have to check to see if any of them are ready. Uh, the tomato plants over here, you can see it's starting to turn. They're kind of like a reddy, yellowy. So it's kind of like, how long do I keep them on before I pull them before the birds realize that they're red and they'll want to eat them. So you can see that they're starting to turn. And of course, the more you pick, then the more the other ones turn color too. So, you know, I'll probably come by here and take a look at some of them. Here's one that's kind of started to get eaten. Ah him out yeah but like this one here that's ready to go and this one here I'll pick two that's ready to go well, there's two little golf ball ping pong size tomatoes if I look back here I can grab maybe this one maybe this one one-handed pull if I look here these two Boy, give him like another day in the sun. This one here is kind of red. Let me grab him. We can cut some of these up for a little salad. Um, but the rest, you know, they're coming through. 
here's a nice jalapeno and I'll pick that there we go it's a nice jalapeno to pick uh, here's tomato some of these I'll have to stake up a little bit too some of the extra branches are getting big but anyways that's a little update for the garden for right now. Talk to you later.